what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video be careful down in the comment section of the videos a lot of spam a lot of scammers i will never ask you to contact me by whatsapp or telegram i also do not invest money for my subscribers so please be careful don't get yourself scammed if you want up to 12 free stocks weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new weeble brokerage account put any amount of money in that brokerage account they're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app those 12 free stocks will be worth up to $30,600. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I was reading an article yesterday that Bank of America put out. And Bank of America believes the AI market globally is going to be a nine hundred billion dollar market by 2026 now currently it's about a 600 billion dollar market bank of america has outlined 20 companies that they believe are going to be going to the moon in this new ai resurgence now i'm not going to go through all 20 companies that bank of america said you know, could benefit from this AI boom over the next several years. But what I will mention is an ETF that I have been currently involved in since 2020 and been buying shares, man. And guess what? Of those 20 companies that Bank of America said will benefit from this AI boom, a lot of those 20 companies, guys, are in my ETF that I'm buying. Now, this ETF is a what I call a core sector ETF, right? It concentrates on an industry, but it has diversification because it has multiple companies in that fund from the same industry. And this particular ETF I'm talking about is Vanguard's Information Technology VGT. Year to date, guys, VGT has returned 30%. Over a 15 year period, it's averaged around 15% rate of return. Now in 2022, it was, it was not a 15% rate of return. But on average, over the last 15 years, that's the rate of return. Now guys, I'm not trying to convince you to go buy VGT. I'm not trying to convince you to do anything. What I'm trying to do is give you information about what's gonna be happening, or at least what Bank of America believes is gonna be happening. And, and, and guess what? I tend to agree with them on this because AI is, 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 is here to stay, man, right? And that's part of technology. And I believe technology is the future. And instead of me being out here trying to pick individual stocks and pick winners and losers, no matter what Bank of America says, that's pretty dang on hard. And that's not something that I have the skill set for. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. It's just hard to do. So what I've decided to do is lean on companies like Vanguard and buy me a technology ETF that already has most of those 20 companies that Bank of America said is gonna do well over these next several years because of the AI boom. Now, let me give you some of the companies in VGT. Now, there are about 364 companies in VGT, but I'm gonna give you some of the top heavy hitters so that you understand this fun ain't messing around. Number one, Apple, probably the most valuable company in the world. That's in VGT, right? Big, strong position in VGT. Microsoft, 
that company is in the VGT technology fund as well. NVIDIA. You guys know NVIDIA over the last couple months, man, has been booming, right? Because of the resurgence of AI technology. So NVIDIA is a chip maker. So they're on the hardware side. And then you got companies like MasterCard and Visa. If you want to get in front of this AI technology thing, listen, man, in my opinion, the smartest way to do it is buy yourself an ETF that's going to have the top 30 to 40 information technology companies already in the fund. And that's what I've done with VGT. So certainly guys, put it on the short list. Do yourself some research. You can go out to vanguard.com and do some research on this fund. I think it's an incredible fund, but don't take my word for it. You guys go do your own research and kind of figure it out for yourself. I also read an article Bank of America put out about the Fed meeting June 13th and 14th. And Bank of America believes the Fed will not increase interest rates for the 11th time in their June meeting. But they said, expect the possibility of a rate increase in the Fed's July meeting. I don't know. I mean, I kind of figured the Fed wouldn't rate hike in their June meeting, but never thought about July. It could be, depending on what data. Depends on what data the Fed gets is gonna determine, guys, if the Fed increases interest rates, right? And whether it be June or whether it be July. But it's interesting that Bank of America feels like they will pause in June. And I think that's probably a good halfway point. You know what I mean? Because we have been getting a lot of good information in that inflation is actually coming down. So yeah, give it a minute. Let's see if inflation continues to come down without the rate hike. And I think that's what the Fed will wait and see. So I think what will happen is they will, they'll pause and not rate hike in their June meeting. Now I believe their July meeting is towards the tail end of July, around the 25th, 26th. Don't hold me to that. You guys go out and, and, and check that date. But I believe those are the dates in, in July. So maybe what happens is the Fed says, okay, Let's pause in June. Let's see if the June CPI report that we will get in July, if inflation still coming down, right? You're gonna get some jobs reports in, you're gonna get some more data in that they can just wait and see, give it a month. Let's see what happens. And I think that's the direction the Fed is probably gonna end up taking. Looks like the banking crisis has slowed down and, 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 and hopefully that's behind us. A lot of these regional banks failing. That seemed to have slowed down. So that's good. Now there is a little bit of concern because again, when we got the GDP report for the first quarter of 2023, you know, GDP came in at 1.3%. The market felt like it would come in at 1.1%, so it beat expectations. That was a little bit of a, okay, this economy is still slightly overheated. I'm not saying it's tremendously overheated, but it's slightly overheated. So that, that was a little bit of a concern. But I don't believe that was enough of a concern to hike interest rates in June. So right now it's a wait and see all I can tell you guys to do is continue to prepare yourself for whatever comes. And the way I prepare myself, guys, is I just keep buying assets. I keep earning. I keep my expenses low. And I keep investing. Because even though VGT 
is about $418 a share because it, it had a pretty good spike because of this whole AI thing and the technology thing, it's still tremendously on sale in my opinion. Why? Because in December of 2021, it was trading at about $460 a share. And right now it's at about 418. So I still think it's, there's opportunity. And especially if this AI boom continues over the next several years, VGT is going to do well. So I'm going to stay in it, keep buying it, and let's see where it goes. But at least I feel more comfortable out here, you know, picking an ETF that has, you know, 364 tech companies in it compared to me out here trying to pick individual ones on my own. And then again, like I told you, the top five positions in VGT are all heavyweights, right? All heavyweights. So put that on your short list. Take a look at it. If you like the tech industry, compare VGT to QQQ or some other fun out there and, 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 and you know, get in the game, right? Get in the game. If you like, if you like tech like I do, get in the game. Well, guys, drop me some comments and let me know what you think about this Bank of America article that says that the AI market is going to be about a $900 billion market in a couple of years, up $300 billion from where it's at today. That's a lot of growth, guys. I ain't missing out on it. But drop me some comments and let me know what you think about that. And also let me know what you think about if the Fed is going to increase short-term interest rates in their June meeting. I want you to drop me some comments and let me know what you think about what the Fed is going to do as well. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weeble, guys, you got to click on that link down in the description box. Open up that new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Thanks. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.